Welcome to part 6 of this e-commerce website tutorial. Today we are going to fix that the information in the product list are dynamic and also on the detail page. And we're also going to make the product list reusable for other places. So we can begin by making the information in the product list dynamic. So if I open up shop.html then instead of showing a hard-coded price, I want to replace this with the real price. So, like there, I want to say display price, But this will not work right now, because we need to create a function for this. Because if you remember from one of the previous parts, we saved the prices as cents and not dollars. Okay, so then I can copy this name and go to models.py inside the product app. So below this function we create a new function called def get display price pass in self parameter and here we can just say return self.price and then we divide this by 100 to get the dollar instead of cents. So now this will work as well. So if I go back to the browser now and refresh so now you will see that we have $290 and here we have $100. Perfect. So then I can go back to the to-do list and set the first task to done. Next step then is to make the product list reusable. Because instead of having the same information here as we have on the front page, I want to make this part reusable. So if I just copy this div here and remove it from here, then inside the product app, inside the product folder there, we create a new folder called partials. And then in there, one more file called product list item.html. And here I can just paste this HTML and save. And then here where we loop through them, we can just say include product slash partials slash product list item.html and close it. So if I now go back, refresh, it still looks the same, but now this is reusable and much easier to maintain. So we can now go back and just make a copy of this line and go to the front page.html and replace it here as well. So now this file looks much better. So if I save this now, Go to the browser, to the front page. Then you can see that it's used here as well. You can see here that we have the prices and the name. Perfect. So now I can set this task as well to done. And then the next step then is to show information on the product detail page. Because if I click one of these now, because I can't click this right now. So if I go back to the editor, then on the product list item, I need to replace this link with URL and the page we want to link to is product and here we want to pass in product.slug and then I can just copy this, paste it here and here and save. But this will still not work because it's not updated in the urls.py file because here we just call it product, we don't accept any slugs here. So we can replace product with shop and then after here we say slug, slug and slash. This means that we want this to be a dynamic part of the URL and here we expect a slug and give it the name of slug. It's the one that's used in the product slash views.py in here which we come back to very soon. So I can just save this file for now, go into views.py again. And then here I want to accept one more parameter called slug. And then I want to get the product from the database based on the slug we are on. So in here I can say product equals product.objects.get then slug equals slug. Now we can pass in this as a dictionary here so we can use it in the template as well. As you can see here now, I get an error because product isn't defined. So we need to import this from .models import product and save. 
So now I should be able to go back here and refresh and for example click the brown leather sofa. But all of the information here is still hard coded so we need to fix that. So I can go back to the editor again and find product.html which is the detail page. So here we want to show the product.name product.name and the same with the price then we want to use the function we created product.get display price and we want to show the description so product.description and save so if I now refresh this information is now dynamic nice and then I just want to make a few changes because not all products has a description so I want to show this only if there are a description so here we can say if product.description then we know that it exists and we can render the field like that and save it won't make any difference here right now but it's nice to have there and I also want to make one change in the views.py because instead of getting the product using this method I want to say get object or 404 so now we will get a 404 error if the product doesn't exist and then we just need to specify the product model here and then we get it based on the slug as well as you can see here now I get a new error and that is because we need to import this shortcut from Django so now it disappeared refresh and everything is now as it was great so then I can go back to the to-do list and set the last task to done and that was it for this part I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit like below see you in the next video